In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Gemini file search API to create our RAG system inside of our AI agents. And the main difference why we should use Gemini's RAG over the other RAGs because Gemini will handle everything for you, like the chunking logic, the vendor database maintenance, and also the embeddings all handled using Gemini's file search API. Because before, when you try to insert your data into your vector store, you have to check the file types, the context, the metadata, as well as the text splitting. And you also have to worry about the embedding models as well as maintaining your vector database. But for the Gemini rag here, you don't have to worry about those things. You simply just upload the file into your Gemini rag system and you can be able to integrate your AI agents into the Gemini rag. And then you can be able to ask any questions you have based on the files you upload into your rag. And of course, Gemini File Search not only offers the easiest way to set up your rag system, but it also offers the best price compared to any other competitors out there in the market. Because here you can see for Gemini File Search API, the storage cost and also the query search cost is completely free. Compared to the other competitors that are out there, you can see the Subase and also Pinecones, they're completely not free, right? And also the query search here is not free as well. So you actually have to pay for the storage and also the query for each request you make. Whereas Gemini File Search, it completely handles this completely for you without any cost. The only cost that you have to pay is the indexing cost, which means that whenever you try to upload files into their file search API, then you have to pay per the million tokens. For example, let's say you're trying to import 1 million tokens for the index cost, then you only pay 15 bucks, which means that you only pay 15 cents per 1 million tokens, which is a lot less compared to any other competitors that are out there. So that's why Gemini RAG is not only easy to set up, but it's also very cost efficient for building our RAG systems inside of our AI agents. So now I know why we should use file search API from Gemini to create our RAG system, what I want to do now is basically talk about what we're going to cover in this video. Now, first thing first, we're going to talk about is how we can be able to integrate our Gemini RAG inside of our applications. So we're going to demonstrate this inside of our Google AI Studio. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, how you can integrate this in your applications, and basically what are the features that Gemini RAG here offers. And then we're going to talk about how we can be able to integrate our Gemini RAG into our AI agents inside of our NAN. And specifically, I'm going to go over this flow on how to prep the data. First thing first, make sure that our data is fully clean before we insert them into our RAG so that we achieve the highest accuracy in terms of any questions we want to ask into our RAG agents. Then we're going to first create our RAG store through HTTP request call. Then we're going to show you exactly how to insert data into our RAG system so that we can be able to retrieve them later. And eventually, I'm going to show you exactly how to integrate your Gemini RAG into your AI agents through NAN. So pretty much that's what we're going to cover in this video. And if you're interested, let's get into it. So to start, first, we're going to navigate to Gemini API for their file search documentation. And right here inside of the documentation, it tells you exactly how to insert the data into their RAG system. So first, we're going to input the files we want, for example, like PDF files, JSON, text files, and we will insert them into file search in Gemini API. And the Gemini API here will basically embed the data, chunk the data, and insert them into your vector store. So if you will scroll down, here there's a demo app that you can try this out inside of the Google AI Studio. So right here, I have navigated to the Google AI Studio here for the chat with your documentations. And here is powered by the file search API from Gemini. So right here, you can see that we can upload like PDF files, text files, any MD files we want, right? For example, this LG washer menu, which contains like 36 pages. And what we can do here is that we can upload it. So basically what it's gonna do is gonna create a vector store, upload the file, chunk it, embed the data, and eventually it's gonna set up the reg system so that we can chat with it using AI. So right here, you can see that we have our chat window open and we can be able to ask any questions we want based on this PDF file. So here you can see we have some example of questions. So I'm just gonna ask, how do I start a normal wash cycle on LG washing machine? So if I were to send this request, it's basically going to retrieve the data from our reg and eventually here you can see it generate the answer. And right here you can see it also gives you different sources or citations based on how it generates this answer. Here you can see this exactly where it gets information, for example, page one, page two, all those kind of things, okay? So we can be able to continue to ask questions and eventually this is how it works. So if I were to minimize this and let's take a look at the code really quick. So right here you can see this is the entire front-end components. But what I want to focus on more is the service. So how, how do we make the call? And right here instead of the Gemini service, you can see this is where exactly making the API call to our RAG system. So right here you can see we have a couple functionalities. One is we can create the RAG store, which we simply pass the name and it will basically create the RAG store inside of the Gemini file search. And then we also have the upload file where we can specify the RAG store name as well as a file that we're gonna upload. And eventually it's going to embed the data until we finish, okay? And the other functionality here we have is file search. Basically, we specify the RAG store and then we specify the query, which is basically a question that we have. For example, we have questions about the PDF files. We can ask it, this is gonna be our query. And it's gonna send using the 2.5 Flash Gemini 
to the reg store and basically retrieve the relevant information for our response. And then we also have our generate example questions, right? And also delete the reg store if we want to. Now, however though, you cannot delete a specific file inside of your reg store. So you can only be able to delete the entire store and be able to recreate it using the Gemini file search API. So pretty much that's how we can be able to use our Gemini file search API inside of our application. So once we take a look how it works inside of our applications, let's take a look at how to use that inside of our AI agents using NAN. All right, so before we move on to inserting data into our RAG system, the most important thing is that we need to do some data cleaning before we insert them. Because let's say if we pass bad data into our RAG system, then we usually get bad data else. And right here, you can see that we have a folder called transcripts. And inside of the transcripts, we have collected a bunch of markdown file, which contains like video metadata, video transcripts. And what I want to do here is I want to use AI here to summarize it, aggregate those data and clean it up so that we can pass it to our rack system for better retrieval. So in this case, you can see I have a bunch of files here, which is all in markdown. And right here, you can see this is what the file looks like. We have our file link, title, descriptions, right? And we also have our keywords, video stats, also the comments from a video, as well as the entire transcript of the video. So in this case, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna use claw code. And the reason why I use claw code here, because let's say if you have like 10 or 20 files, it's okay to pass it to a large language model because it can be able to take these kind of file size. But if you have like a large amount of files, because currently I have like 100 files right here, then it's ideally to use like coding agents, like cursor, claw code to basically help you to process a large amount of files in your local machine. So that's what I did. And here you can see I have basically prepared a prompt that I used to guide the claw code here to process all those files. And basically I instructed that this is a folder contains a markdown files, which contains like YouTube transcripts, the metadata. And the goal here is that I want you to read through all the markdown files that we have and create a single comprehensive markdown file that we can be able to optimize for RAG retrieval. And eventually here, you can see that clock over here run all those files into different batches and eventually give us a single file that's easier for RAG retrieval. So right here, you can see this is the summary of the entire files that has gone through. And what we can do here is if I were to open this file right here, and I'm just gonna open this in preview, you can see that this is what it looks like. So this is the entire uh, file, which contains the entire summary of all the files that we have in this folder. Okay, so you can see this is very important. If you wanted to try to clean up your data, you can simply just use claw code or any other coding agents you want in your local machine, basically help you to clean it up for you. Okay, so in this case, once we have this file right here, which generate from 104 videos, then let's talk about how we can be able to insert this data into our RAG system. So in this case, to integrate our RAG system into our AI agents, what we're gonna do here is that I have navigated to NAN and created three workflows that can help you to do this automatically. So right here, you can see what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create our vector store, right? Create our file store. So we simply call it an API from the Google documentations and basically try to create the right store from there. Once you have a store, you can then be able to upload files into that store, right? So right here, you can see I create a file upload form and I simply just provide the store name, the file that we're gonna upload and basically it's gonna process this and first upload the file to the store, then import a file into the store. Then once we have the file into the store and vectorize it fully completely done, then we can be able to use that by specifying the store name and be able to have a AI agent here, which uses a large language model here, connected with a tool that calls the generative AI from Google Gemini. Basically it's gonna call the Gemini reg to retrieve the relevant information for the queries that we're asking for. So in this case, I'm gonna demonstrate this entire process step-by-step. Step. So right here, what we're gonna do here is that first we're gonna create our store, right? So you can see this is gonna be a manual trigger and here is gonna be an HTTP request. So right here, you can see this is the entire API endpoint, which this is found from the API documentations, which you can find in the link in the description. So what I did here is I basically use this endpoint right here for the file search store, which in this case, we're gonna select a post method. And the authentication here is gonna be using query auth. And for query auth here, you can see if I were to click on edit, we simply provide the key as a name, and the value here is gonna be the API key that we can find from a Gemini API. And if you're curious about where you can get the API key for Gemini, simply just navigate to Google AS Studio here. And here inside of the API keys, there is the create API key that you can click and get your API key. And once you get your API key, you can then be able to move on to the next one, which here you can see you can set the body. So the body for the request here is gonna be display name. So what is the name that we're gonna set for this particular reg? So it might basically set the YouTube transcript. And you can change whatever you want. You can change it to be like a YouTube channel, like, you know, a startup story or whatever, right? So basically once we set the name, you can see that if I were to trigger this request, we get a response. And this response here contains the name of the official store name. Uh, what we can do here is I'm gonna pin this data because we're gonna come back to this. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna copy this name right here and we're gonna use that to insert the right data to the right store. Okay, so I'm just gonna move on to the next workflow, which is to upload the file for vectorization. So here you can see we have our file upload node 
I'm just gonna double click on this and I'm just gonna click on execute the workflow. And here I'm just gonna upload a file. So for example, I can upload a PDF file, MD file or text files, anything, right? So I'm just gonna click on upload file right here. And here I'm just going to upload the file that we just created, which is the YouTube insights rag. And here I'm also gonna provide the store name, which is the store that we just created using the Gemini API. And here I'm just gonna click on upload file. So after the file is uploaded, which you can see here, then we can trigger the nest node, which is the prepared file before we upload. So this one is basically gonna change the file type because here you can see this is the min file type. And we need to change this so that the API here can accept that. So if I were to execute this, you can see it's gonna change that, the min file type here to the text markdown, which is the correct format for this file. So once we do the file preparation, then we can be able to upload the file to the store. So right here, this is the entire API we're gonna call, which basically going to upload the file into our Gemini file search. And then here you can see we're using the same auth here, simply just using the query auth and selecting the uh, authentication that you created, right? And then inside of our header here, this is gonna be our header. In this case, we're gonna specify the content type. It's gonna be a text markdown format. And then in terms of our body here, we're just gonna specify that it's gonna be from the NAM binary file, which is called data, which is this one right here, okay? So if I were to execute this node right here, you can see that it's gonna upload the file into our reg store. And then what we can do here is that we can import a file into our reg store. So right here, inside of the import store node, you can see that this is the entire API that we're gonna call. And then here in terms of our request body, which will basically put the file name, and the file name here is gonna be the name of the file that we just, up, that we just uploaded from our Google Gemini API. So in this case, if I were to trigger this, you can see that we have our file completely uploaded into our reg store. So in this case, we're just gonna copy the same name for our vector store, which is this name right here. So here, I'm just gonna come back to the AI agent. And then here inside of our store name, you can see that we have a variable here called store name, which basically is the store, is, is gonna be the name of the store for a vector store. So I basically copy that and paste it here instead of this field. So what we can do now is we can be able to ask any questions here to the RAG agent to answer any questions that we have. All right, so to test out the accuracy for the RAG agents, I prepare a couple questions that we can ask to test out the accuracy. So right here you can see I have a couple questions generated using AI here to basically have the question and also the expected answer. So what are the best free marketing channels to get from my first customers? So the answer is that I'm expecting is the Reddit, Twitter and X, and also TikTok. So I'm just gonna come back here and I'm just gonna open the chat window here. Um, I'm just gonna actually maximize this bit. So clear the conversations and here I'm just going to minimize this a bit. Okay, so this is the chat window right here. I'm just gonna paste this question. So what are the best free marketing channels to get my first customers? So here you can see it's gonna call the reg tool basically to retrieve the relevant information for our question query. So here you can see we get our results. We have our Reddit, Twitter, and also Facebook groups. Uh, here you can see also gives you the source for the citations on uh, where that is. So here is the citation ID. And if we were to open the logs, and this is how it calls the tool, right? So here we have our input name, which is in this case, the store name, and also the tool ID. And here in terms of output, we have a list of items here. And here you can see that we have our list of data inside of this. So we have parts. Here are the list of chunkings that are related to the question that we ask. And basically it's gonna retrieve those contexts, right? So in each individual context, and then basically pass it to AI here to fill in exactly what we're gonna response to the user query, okay? So pretty much that's how it works. And I can do one more question to basically check to see if it's actually working. So I'm just gonna ask another question. How do I validate my product ID before spending month building it, right? Very important question if you're gonna build your startups. So I'm just gonna send this question here for validating my idea. So you can see this is gonna call the rag system again. And here you can see we got our answer. So the answer is first, we're gonna have our pre-built validation, which share the design screenshots in Facebook groups and try to get at least 100 likes. And here, if we were to look at this, you can see, yes, post the design screenshots in Facebook groups. And this one here is also create a wait list aiming for 100 signups and offers a pre-sale discounts and secure early purchase before building. And this is exactly what we have here for the expected answer here, okay? So pretty much that's how we can be able to get our answer here from our reg system to retrieve the answer and reply back to the user here, okay? So pretty much that's how we can be able to integrate our Gemini file search reg into our AI agents inside of our NAN. So with that being said, that's pretty much what we covered in this video, how to create our store, how to upload files, and how to integrate our reg AI agent here inside of our NAN, and also how we can be able to integrate our our file search API into our code applications. So with that being said, if you do want to get this workflow right here that I show in the NAN, please make sure to join our Discord channel, which is completely free. And you can check out the CodeShare channel, which I'll basically upload this entire workflow inside of there for you to check it out. So with that being said, if you do find value in this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribing for more content like this. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.